Here we go. Um, James hovering Lucario. This could be the mix-up of a lifetime. <laughs> Random ditto for grands. <laughs> me when I'm hydrated. I'm so hydrated right now. <laughs> and here we go. Grand Finals, a matchup that many have seen before, but we haven't seen in quite a while. James has been out of bracket uh, for the past few weeks uh, for a couple, for uh, other, he had other things going on, so he couldn't enter bracket. Um, so we haven't seen this matchup in a minute, but it seems to be going about as you would expect. Um, a lot of projectiles, a lot of parries. Here we go. Makita takes a quick first stock from Lucas. Um, James cannot rely on grenades in this matchup as much as he does in the other ones. Got some cheeky kills off of uh, on Falco using them in his last match, uh, winner's finals, but it doesn't quite work on Lucas since he can use, a uh, Psy Magnet to heal off of him. That was weird, the wind box pulled it, like, behind him and he didn't get the heal off. Uh, 106 on Snake, 33 on Lucas, definitely close to dead, but, uh, it's gonna take more than a back throw to do it there. Nice B-reverse to mix up the landing from Snake. And the Zare into grab. Lucas's shield is very low. CF has a nice bit of pressure on him, but he's also got 165. Any hit could kill. Um, 67 on Lucas. He's got a... This is a pretty... A pretty strong start for James, uh, this game one. And an up air to even the stock count. Or up throw, excuse me. setting up the C4, and then popping him up with it. Back air doesn't connect. That could have been a huge, uh, huge moment for James. Instead, he reads the, the ledge option, gets the grab. Ooh, and the roll behind from Lucas, able to get a couple of quick down tilts off and we've got a jab block is it enough to kill not quite from that side of the stage 183 on Lucas that's a lot of damage <clears throat> but really it's pretty even this is more or less last hit for each of them uh, up tilt to take the stock from Lucas but a PK freeze, uh, a forward air, a PK thunder, any of those could take it from, from Snake. F smash, pick your favorite. And now we are totally even last stock. Lucas picks up the grenade, oh, gets the roll behind before Snake lays him down on it.
Lucas had something cooking there, but he was interrupted by one of Snake's many explosions. <clears throat> oh, going for the... Going for the quick ledge grab. Shoutouts to 115, by the way. Lucas... <laughs> The biggest zigzag recovery you've ever seen, dodging around the Makita. Lucas is so floaty, oh my goodness. Er, but he's... There he comes. Zer, and back throw to take game one. No Smashville, no Yoshis, the Alaxo Classic. That's true, Carp. Evergreen's Falco is pretty based. Too bad he left and couldn't hear that in person. Arms music, excellent counter pick by CF. We are going to small battlefield. And immediately, it's a game of dodgeball for Lucas as grenade after grenade comes flying his way. Kaboom from the C4. Pretty even. Um, oh, oh, gets a gets a small spike. Not enough to totally kill Snake, but enough to push him down uh, into a ledge guard situation. And off stage again, flies back to center. Oh. Was that grenade extending the F tilt maybe? Oh, doesn't read the roll away. James goes for a roll in punish instead. And up tilt takes first stock. Excellent parry from consistent failure. Down tilt, down tilt, down tilt. Spin to win. Does a good job of uh, racking up the quick damage um, before he gets the stock taken. Uh, shoutouts to 114 um, from the extra credit. 77% uh, up on the next stock is nothing to nothing to bat an eye at. You can definitely. You can definitely tell that uh, CF is starting to play a little more aggressively, trying to close this gap. Because just like that, 77% turns into 30. Uh, no heal. Uh, Shoutouts to 103. <laughs> doesn't connect. That could have been Lucas's second stock there. Forward air from ledge. Doesn't do a ton of damage. There we go. F smash to take the stock instead. Oh, James... Pops out of that combo and gets it up there. Not quite enough to kill. Immediately rolling in. Sets up the Makita. Oh! Chases him relentlessly with it. That'll take his... Uh, hit Lucas's second stock.
super high recovery, Lucas isn't able to go for most of the PK freeze, PK thunder, back air shenanigans that he likes to go for on a lot of the rest of the cast. Um, stuff that could take pretty early stocks, um, especially like when he's playing against Hero or um, other normal matchups for him in top eight, but Snake coming in uh, so high just sort of neutralizes that option. And the C4 look No FD, no Kalos. We go back to small battlefield. Everybody take a water break. small battlefield, uh, this time by Alaxel's choice. Pretty standard fare for the for the matchup so far. Um, of note, uh, Alaxel hasn't been able to get a whole lot of healing off of the grenades this set. For the number that have been thrown, uh, he hasn't been getting that chip healing as much as he might have in the past. Um, and so instead we see ourselves at even percents and then an F smash to seal out the first stock. Doesn't get the the ledge read to take the stock, but there we go back air takes it, thirty one percent. Excellent spacing with the PK fire, keeping uh, most of snakes projectile harassment at bay. And he heals up to zero. <clears throat> That's a deep PK Thunder, but he is able to come back. And a down air there. Uh, gets the spike sound out. Uh, but it's not enough to send Snake all the way down. He does come back up with the up B. And he opts for the high recovery again. Down air isn't going to connect there. PK Freeze gets stalled out by back air. Dash attack into Makita. Oh, Lucas gets to heal off that. There we go. Oh, but the the smash attack getting him while he's hanging by the tether. That could have been really dangerous. Beep, beep. Will he get back? No, he won't. Oh my goodness. Shield pressure on Snake, but he just rolls straight in and eats a forward air. Even, even, even. Here with about four minutes left on the clock in game three. Shoutouts to the ambulance. Read the roll behind. Um, 
Not a huge follow-up, but he gets some damage off. 136, just about anything could kill Lucas at this point. Hoping to see maybe a, a C4 or a, or a good aerial um, to take out the stock here. She's no Smashville as we move to game four. Um, oh. Snake Man for the Snake Man. Back to small battlefield for a third time. Lucas. Seems to work well for both of them. Nice hit with the C4 there, starting off with 78% on Lucas. And that roll from ledge is scary because puts him right underneath the C4 at that point. Down tilt, down tilt, down tilt, into, uh, is that an F smash? I couldn't tell. Um, something strong to finish out that little strip. But Snake gets out of it that time. PK, th uh, PK Fire blocks the Makita. And, and there we go. Down throw into up tilt to take the first stop. Behind, covered by the C4 this time. Definitely something that um, Aaron might not have seen coming. Because um, usually, usually the roll mix up. Uh, he's been pretty 50 50 on which way he rolls. PK freeze. Snake lobs a grenade all, but it blows up in his face. No, no follow-up there. C4 blows up. There's no C4 on the stage anymore. Instead, we get jab 1-2 into Makita. Grab. Oh, oh, that could have been huge if that down air connected. Gets the hitbox of Psy Magnet to push Snake away. They're both really deep. Oh, Snake does not get to come back, though. Heals off the Makita. Shields up tilt. That could have been Lucas's stock there at 115. Up tilt from Snake is just so dangerous. And 
there it is. 107 takes the stock. We go game five. No FD, no Kalos. Here we are, game five. Um, Snake getting all of the, the damage in these first interactions. Uh, Lucas is able to heal like half of it back from that C4 grenade combo. He has the lead, actually. Snake recovering high uh, again to avoid most of the most of the cheesy quick kills that Lucas can get with uh, back air, down air spikes, or PK freeze. stock. Surviving at 125, 136. Snake is playing with fire coming in this much um, at this percent. Because just about, because if he gets grabbed or a lot of Lucas's aerials at this point would kill. And that's a lot of healing. But he, but he takes the second stock anyway. Oh my goodness. This is still a full stock lead at this point, game five. Um, it's definitely possible for Alaxel to come back and reset this, but he's definitely warm to the matchup and knows what to do. dash attack to cover the ledge and can't heal off that grenade that's unfortunate for Lucas because any and all healing is going to be crucial if he wants to survive to take two stocks off of snake and reset this bracket quick hitbox of Psy magnet sends snake flying towards the blast zone. Ooh, and hits him at the ledge. That's... In a Game 5 scenario, consistent failure is your Oberlin Weekly number 7 champion. Let's go, James. Congratulations. Submit scores. And that does it, folks. Um, congratulations to everybody who 
placed in this week's bracket. We had 24 entrants. One of our larger brackets, um, as far as entrants go. I think we've had 30 some odd unique contenders throughout the season. Um, CF taking first, Alaxel second, um, Evergreen third, and Patchlaw fourth. Those are your top four. Um, other people who made it to top eight this week are uh, Pyro, Spirit, Bungus, and Kated. Shout outs to all of them. You all played very well this week. Um, my name has been Tom Bone. It's been a pleasure commentating for you all, uh, but it is time for us to tear down. Good night, everyone. Take care.